The answer now to all these questions is one. If the Torah is 100% from God, it doesn't matter what we know or what we think. It doesn't matter. We are not making the rules. He created us and he gave us a book. Torah in Hebrew means instructions. This is the right way to live if you want to get your ticket for eternity. The reward that I promised the righteous Jews, these are the conditions. Whether you like it or not, it doesn't matter. Whether you like to dress like this, whether you like to keep Shabbat, whether you like that you cannot eat certain things, it doesn't matter what you like, what you don't like. If it's the truth or not. But if the Torah is not the word of God, then only a fool will keep any mitzvah. It's either everything or nothing. There's no in between. Someone who does only a little bit is a hypocrite. Why? You have to make up your mind. The Torah is the word of God, yes or no? If no, don't keep anything. No tefillin, no mezuzah, no kosher, no brit milah, no synagogue, no Yom Kippur, no Shabbat, no nothing. Don't be a hypocrite. If the Torah is nothing, it's nothing. If I read uh, some book from the library, I'm not going to become like this book just because somebody thinks so. No, <laughs> I don't care. But if it's the word of God, how can I live against it? How can I live in a lie all my life? How can I take the oxygen and the energy that he gives me and use it against him? Is it possible to live this kind of life? Every second of my life is fake. All of it is a lie. And then in the end I'm going to get a severe punishment for it. Is that the right life? So it comes down to one question. Whether the Torah is divine or not. If we can prove the Torah is divine, then excuse me, you may not have to agree with me. You can stop me right here. But in my opinion, a person knows this is every word he is, is from the creator of the world, and dare to ignore it is nothing but a complete ignorant. There's no other word for him to know, no other words.